That's Craig Dale updating the situation in Tokyo. The waters of Japan, though, offer a gruesome snapshot of its recent troubles. The tsunami swept vast amounts of debris out into the ocean, and now a floating island or several floating islands of rubbish, including everything from homes to crushed cars and even bodies. Experts say those debris islands are heading towards North America, specifically the west coast of Canada. Andrew Nichols has the details. Andrew, uh, is this a major concern? You know, I mean, it's a major concern in the sense of there's a lot of garbage. They're calling this the Great Garbage Patch of the Pacific, and we're going to we have a little map that's going to show you exactly where this debris is expected to go. So, within a year, it'll move and it'll hit the Hawaiian Islands. Then it'll probably take about three years before it hits the Pacific Northwest in the U.S. and British Columbia, as well as California, and reaching then as far as uh, Alaska and Mexico before kind of turning around and going back. And Carol, just to give you an idea of how big this is, uh, there are estimates that it could be twice the size as the province of Ontario, which is one, which is about one million square kilometers, so two million square kilometers of garbage. What will it include? It'll include what you're looking at right now: pieces of cars, uh, homes that are broken up, as well as severed feet. Uh, why severed feet? Well, they don't expect that there will be bodies that will be washing up on the shore because the bodies will likely decompose and break up by the time they get here. But as we've seen with other stories about severed feet, uh, running shoes act as a flotation device. The other concern, Carol, with all of this is that there will, there could be uh, levels of radiation uh, in the debris that. Uh, arrives on our shores, but officials caution that, that by the time it gets here, it'll be very, very low levels. But we've already seen that this uh, is disrupting uh, shipping lanes. The U.S. Navy's 7th Fleet, who actually spotted this, uh, fl this floating garbage patch, say they have never seen anything like it and are warning that the debris now poses a threat to shipping traffic. So just... Um, uh, an unbelievable sight to see as this garbage mm -hmm. moving from the tsunami and from the earthquake is moving through the Pacific and kind of traveling as this, uh, I guess, more like several islands as part of this big group of g garbage and, and heading mm -hmm. towards our shores. All right, Andrew, thank you. Okay.